Did you know that you can receive healing in a dream? Believe it or not, God can use a dream to heal and restore, and this includes a physical or an emotional healing. So let's talk about receiving healing in a dream. Some of us have experienced traumatic events in our lives, and it can range from mild to major trauma. It can also be either a physical or emotional trauma. Even a chronic sickness or a one-time illness or having had an accident can be traumatizing. But one way God can heal you is through a dream. For example, a woman who had suffered abuse in her childhood once had a dream that she was standing on a pier looking out over a body of water. Looking at the water made her feel calm. Suddenly, Jesus appeared, took her by the hand, and led her to a huge white rock where they both sat down. She said while they sat on the rock, she was enjoying her time with Jesus. As she looked towards the water again, she noticed the Statue of Liberty off in the distance. Now, she knew that the Statue of Liberty is in New York City, and she didn't live in New York, so she thought that was quite odd. When she woke up, she said she had experienced a level of peace that she had never experienced before. So what does this dream mean? Well, there were three important elements in this dream. Jesus, the white stone, and the Statue of Liberty. Now, a white stone is mentioned in Revelation 2.17 that says, To the one who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give him a white stone with a new name written on the stone that no one knows except the one who receives it. The word overcomes in this passage is the Greek word Nike. Does that sound familiar? And this means to conquer, to be victorious, to prevail, and to subdue. Theologians say that in ancient Rome, it was the custom to award a white stone to the winners of athletic games. The winner had their name inscribed on the stone, and this served as a ticket to a special awards banquet. So according to this, Jesus promises those who overcome entrance into the victory celebration, which is the wedding supper of the lamb. So the white stone in the dream was symbolic of the dreamer conquering her emotional issues. And this reminds me of Romans 8:37, which says, God has made us to be more than conquerors through him who loved us. One translation says that we overwhelmingly conquer. Now, the Statue of Liberty in the dream was a symbol of freedom from the pain of her past. Galatians 5.1 says that we should stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free and do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And of course, Jesus himself in the dream brought healing to the dreamer. Isaiah 53, 5 says, but he was pierced for our offenses. He was crushed for our wrongdoings. The punishment for our well-being was laid upon him and by his wounds, we are healed. So Jesus, who is our healer, used a dream to bring inner healing to this dreamer. Now, this is also true for physical healings. Some people have had dreams where Jesus comes and heals them and they wake up healed from a physical sickness or disease. This is why it's a good idea to not only pray for healing before you go to sleep, but also to read out loud scriptures that pertain to healing. This will help to create an atmosphere of healing while you are sleeping. Always remember that the word of God is like a seed. God said in Isaiah 55, 11, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. This reminds me of a story I once read where a woman was suffering from a bad case of the flu. 
Before going to bed, she quoted Malachi 4.2, which says, But for you who fear my name, the son of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings. She said she found an audio version of Malachi 4 and put it on repeat, releasing the word of God into the atmosphere. She fell asleep and had a powerful dream. In the dream, she saw demons flying around her, assaulting her with the flu virus. But then she saw the Lord come down from heaven, spreading the wings of his prayer shawl over her like a tent. She woke up from the dream totally healed. So the word of God was planted like a seed in her spirit that grew into a miracle of healing. She saw her healing take place in the dream. This is the power of of a prophetic dream. Did you know that one dream from God can bring deliverance, healing, and restoration? It can. One dream from God can shift the course of your entire life. Do you need God to heal you in a certain area, whether emotional or physical? If so, I want to encourage you to pray and read scriptures pertaining to healing before you go to bed and to listen to healing scriptures while you sleep, allowing the word of God to saturate your soul and spirit. God can heal you in different ways. And I want you to keep in mind that one of the ways he can heal you is through a dream. Hey, have you picked up your copy of The Mysterious Language of Dreams yet? In this book, I go more in depth about dreams and dream interpretation than I do on my YouTube videos. I talk about the depth dimension of dreams, dream layers. I talk about the time dimension of a dream. Also, dreams and the imagination, which is quite interesting. I also have put over 40 real life, actual dreams that people have dreamt in the book for you to practice your interpretation skills. Also in the back of the book is a dream dictionary with over 400 dream symbols. So I've left a link in the description box below where you can go and pick up your copy of the mysterious language of dreams today. Have you had any dreams where God has healed you or someone you know? If so, you know I want to hear about it. Leave it in the comment section. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with someone you know who may be sick. This may bring hope and encouragement to them. I'll talk to you all next time.